I am Lorenzo Washington, the curator here at the Jefferson Street Sound Museum here at 2004 Jefferson Street in Nashville, Tennessee. My intentions is to, to celebrate the artists and musicians that actually played and entertained here on Jefferson Street. Yeah, Jackie Shane uh, became a very close friend of mine. And there is a story behind the Jefferson Street Sound Museum and Jackie Shane. Uh, she was one of the first uh, artists to come out as a woman being a man uh, here in Nashville. So uh, a lot of folk actually knew Jackie Shane because of, of that. Uh, but I had uh, known J uh, Jackie Shane to be deceased. So I had her in here uh, as a deceased person and uh, a friend of hers came in here uh, with about 23 kids, I do truly remember. And uh, Jackie Shane's picture was up on the shelf in there. And uh, this person came in and saw Jackie Shane's picture uh, on the shelf and said, uh, oh, that's Jackie Shane. I said, yeah, that's Jackie Shane. And Jackie Shane has been deceased for about two or two and a half years. And that person looked at me in the eyes and said, no, Jackie Shane is not deceased. Jackie Shane is living and lives here in Nashville. And uh, so I gave, when, the, when that person got ready to leave with the kids, I gave this person my card and said, well, tell Jackie Shane I would love to talk with her and to give me a call. And uh, this person did give Jackie Shane my card. Uh, about two weeks later, Jackie Shane called me, and Jackie Shane and I talked for over two hours that night because we had all of this in common. And then after that, I got a chance to uh, uh, go to uh, Jackie Shane's house, take her to uh, take her to the store. I was the person taking her to the store and taking her to the doctor's appointment, uh, taking her to the bank. So we got to be very good friends. And she used to have that little saying, uh, I just want to live and let live. So uh, I let her live her way, you know, as far as our circle was concerned. And she didn't have uh, anybody in her circle. Uh, I took her to Burlington's uh, department store and that was the first time she had been in a department store, a clothing store, in 30-something years. And I remember one other time we had gone uh, to uh, another department store and when we got there, she had a, a little stack of $100 bills, gave the uh, cashier a $100 bill and the cashier run the $100 bill through this little machine and it was counterfeit. The hundred dollar bill was counterfeit, so so she was very upset about that counterfeit hundred dollar bill, and she had gotten the hundred dollar bill from the bank across the street. So after we left the department store, we we went back by the bank to take the hundred dollar bill, and they would not exchange that hundred dollar bill either. And then a, a day or so after that. We went to Kroger's, and she was paying them with a hundred dollar bill, <laughs> and that hundred dollar bill was was counterfeit. <laughs> and so uh, after that, you know, I told us, uh, Jack, and we're not cashing no more hundred dollar bills. You go get us all put in the federal penitentiary. <laughs> so uh, that's some of my story about Jackie Shane.